Today I'll be doing the block check off for the camera. It's a redo of block check off one. As we can see here, there are three interfaces, the camera to the ESP32 data, the outside environment to the camera, and then the ESP, or the, the camera to the DC power here. Um, so first we are going to show the uh, environment to the camera here. As we can see, I have a luxometer reading here. It's at about a thousand, which is the typical rate. And so I'm going to hold this. Uh, oh, this is always the problem here. I'm going to balance you right here as we take this picture. Good enough. And so as we can see, we're gonna go and take this picture. And I'll just show you here that this is image 19. So when we compare it to the thing later, we're good to go. All right, Google, turn off my light. Hey, Google, turn off my light. All right, and now you can see it's down to, wow, that's even darker than I thought it was gonna be. There we go, I was just blocking the light on it. It's about 30. Um, the minimum here is 40, but if it can handle something below 40, obviously it can handle 40. Normally, in with typical light, it won't be below 40. So if it can handle 32, obviously it can handle a minimum of 40. So we're just gonna do that same process again here. Sorry, the camera keeps falling out just a little bit. I haven't glued it in yet. All right, there we go. And as you can see there, this is picture 20. All right, the next thing we're gonna show here, I'm not gonna be able to show infrared with low visible light today. We have not got the infrared uh, lights set up or anything. The next thing we're gonna show is this DC power input. So what I'll show real quick here while I have it set up is these uh, the uh, um, amperages. So it should be 0 0.02 milliamps in low power. It peaks at 1.5 milliamps when the uh, flash goes off and it typically runs at 0.9 when it's in its normal mode here. So I'll just have a, a picture of the digital multimeter as we're going through this. So as you can see, it's, it's in its low power mode right now. And then we're gonna take the picture. It spikes to about 0.9, the camera flashes. I have it in the program right now, hold before it goes back to sleep. It's at about 0.9. And now it holds for 10 seconds. So just give it a second here. It then drops back down to 0.02 as it's in deep sleep mode. Now give me just a second as I set it up to take the voltages.
All right, so as we can see here, it's running at five volts. And give me just a second and I'll show the V-min. As we can see, it is still running at 3.3 volts here. All right, and then the last things to show are the data rate and messages. As we can see here, it did have some errors as I unplugged it and plugged it back in, obviously. Um, but it is reading through at 115200 baud. And now just let me grab the, the SD card up, out of here so I can show you that it got the JPEGs. up so as you can remember we got 19 and 20 there there is 19 and I am covering up the first letter with my finger there but you can clearly see CNS PLT as we have here LCNS PLT and then there's picture 20 that I just opened and that's the low light one LCNS PLT good to go thanks guys